Hello, I'm Enter Elysium. And this is Europe Minus Four, and we are playing as the Elysian Empire. We are having a war with Spain and Portugal. It's going very well, although Spain have a 32 stack up here waiting to jump on us. So let's unpause and get right back to it. It's a bit more of a micromanagey type uh, war deal going on. And I'm hoping that we'll be able to hopefully you know, finish this off by the end of today. Ungrateful natives, you know, we don't need you right now. Piss off. What we got over here? Oh, that's fine. Okay. Technology. Mere. Oh, actually, no. Not mere. I will want that. We can build a glorious monument! A monument to our sins. I'm going to wait until after the war, just in case I need them for uh, mercenary ducats. It, but it would suck for me to be able to start building a monument and then going, I don't have enough ducats for my mercenaries. So I'm going to, you know, play it a bit more cautious. Let's get these seven over the seat at the last bit of Portugal. Because then Portugal won't be able to raise any troops whatsoever, and that will make me a very, very happy person. Speed three for a little bit. Lithuania accept the peace of Russia. Lithuania will annul the treaties of Austria. Lithuania will pay ducats. Okay. I honestly don't really care much about the Russia thing. I mean, you know, poor, poor Norway. But uh, overall, I, I really don't care. I mean, you know, it's not my war. It's got nothing to do with me. I'm a very selfish, selfish human being, leader of uh, the Elysian Empire. I have the Elysian Empire's interests at heart, and if you're not, you know, part of the Elysian Empire, then obviously you need to join, because frankly, we're amazing. Why would you not want to? Right, so let's go back to 3 times speed for a little bit. Just be cautious at 3 times speed, because I need to be able to get split-second reaction time for some of these. Uh, good news, naval supplies will be produced in Yulin. Ugh. We've won the siege of Castella Le Vigilium. Oh, that one there, okay. Well, let's go up to Burgos and start getting Burgos down. In fact, I think maybe in Soria would be a good idea at some stage, because we'll have to start moving our moving our military force forwards. Yeah, Soria. It's going to be the new stationing, for, uh, stationing force for them. All right, let's... Ooh, we're not going to have enough to cover that province. Oh, they're sieging their province set back. How dare they? In future, in a future time, we'll probably go and focus on the new world. But for now, I just want to be able to, you know, really weaken Spain and Portugal where they live. All right. Next siege we finished over here goes over to this one. Oh, we are taking a lot of attrition. I might need to go to port. Is there anyone else who can... We've got one that will come from there. No. One. No. 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 Okay. We'll send those troops across and then uh, we'll try and bug out as quickly as possible. Oh! No, you don't. Yoink. And Brittany managed to get the 20 down. Okay, Brittany. Thank you very much. Uh, let's Now you've got your troops down here. Tell you to go on to the no focus mode. Oh no, God, don't do that. Come down. Stay down here. I mean, if you just stand there in the mountains, that makes me happy. Right, this is the last two. Get off your ships and I can send the ships back to port because they're kind of hurting at the moment. Bam, right, okay. And back to port. Hmm, that is a lot of single troops lying around there. Spain is still stationary, they're not moving. Another load of siege is done. I'm going to continue to move up. It's going very well for us. One thing I'm concerned about is if we manage to actually siege out the whole of Portugal, is we might end up getting war exhaustion for having, you know, 100% of Portugal sieged. So I'm actually going to not... I'm going to get my guy off this province, and we're not going to siege it. We're going to move. Because if I siege that whole province, we're going to have some issues. I definitely want to get Spain up first if I can. Oh, there's a one. Not allowed.
Bear in mind that we're now less than uh, you know that on manpower, which is a lot. We're losing a lot because we've got a load of sieges being carried out. So we are certainly losing a lot of manpower right now. It might be more sense to keep these 20s behind the lines in future. So once we capture Soria, I'm just going to station those troops there and they're going to stay there. Because otherwise we're taking a lot of attrition that we don't need to take. There we go. That's Portugal's offering and I was expecting to see that. Interesting to see these Spanish 1s jumping out from behind the lines. Siege of Sorry is over. Cool. Well, you're just going to stand there now. I don't you taking attrition. What have we got for advisors? Please tell me we've got a manpower, dude. Morale of armies, force limits. No. I'll take the plus two morale of armies. They're beginning to take attrition up there, which is interesting. You'd think that'd be the point where they definitely want to start moving. Uh, where was that when we managed to siege? Oh, Badajoz. Okay, um... Mercia. Mercia. It's not Mercia. It, sorry, it's not Merica, it's actually Mercia. Is it Mercia? I guess it's Mercia. I, that's how I'd assume it'd be pronounced. Galicia. Let's go to Burgos. Braca. Let's get you to Cantana or Tan Can 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 Cantabria. Cantabria. There we go. Got it. Uh, Cantabria. We've won the siege of Cunexio something. Oh, that was the one with my large unit. So you can stay there as well. We're actually making manpower now because we're actually uh, not moving these onto ones where they're taking attrition. Now attrition is just a percentage, but if you put a large stack on percentage, they'll be taking obviously more manpower damage. Uh, which one was this? Andalusia. Oh yeah. Okay. We'll move to Cadiz. We'll try and wipe these guys out. It's my new plan. Trading sugar happened to us, reducing cost of war exhaustion minus 10%. Because everyone knows that when you're high on sugar, you don't really care about the cost of war exhaustion. Spain is still standing out these ones. I don't know what they're doing. I think they're trying to just get them past our lines and start unseizing stuff, which is a bit of an odd uh, tactic, considering it'll take them a little while to do that. Um, where was that? Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. I have no idea what that was. Absolutely no idea. Find. Al. Al. Gov. Oh, there we go. Well, we'll move up to that one. Crush you. And we'll go grab this front here. I might ask the fleet being seen right from the Styx Dominion so we can attack the rest of the Spanish provinces in the. Uh, Mediterranean. Yeah, okay. Six Dominion. Hello. Um, no, you won't go for it. Because you're threatened. Oh, what a lame excuse. I can get him off Genoa, though. Thank you, Genoa. Would you be my vassal? No. Tempting, but no. Okay, let's get some fleet basing rights. I mean, not that I really would use them as a vassal to piss off Austria too much. Bam. So the idea here is that we're going to basically use them as a staging post to attack. Bam, bam, bam. Actually, I don't need that one. Just these two and uh, these guys over here and you there as well. On the siege of Madrid, that'll be their capital gone. Makes me a very, very happy person. Awesome. And we're full on Diplo points again. Uh, well, I guess we'll reduce war exhaustion since we're full on Diplo points. Seriously, how fast are you doing that? Not fast enough. Right, we're winning kind of a lot here. Ooh, hello there. I'm glad we're coming to join in that battle. Portuguese Brazil? No, mate, no. You're one heavy and you're 13 lights and you're 12 tra transports. They're getting destroyed. 
Aww, they're winning those sieges back. Sad face. I really don't care. We have 31 here. You know, they'll go stamp them out if need be. Large swaths of the New World have been captured, which is very nice. I could just kick them out of the New World entirely, really, if I wanted to. But, you know, for future reference, this war was very hard thought and had to be a very specific time. I want to break them apart so I can attack them easier next time. What I might do is I might go Leon, something, something. Get, like, whatever I can of Spain for, like, 100% or whatever. And then Portugal will be like, yeah, just break your alliance with Spain. Is that all? Yeah, that's all. And then, as soon as I can go to war with Portugal again, just be like, bam, Portugal, go to war. Um, they won't have Spain on their side. I can easily beat them on, you know, the sea, because, you know, it'll take them time to get their navy back. Uh, I could easily beat them in the New World, because, you know, they don't have Spain. Uh, I can easily beat them on the land, because I just go, hello, drop troops off in, you know, whatever. Hello, drop troops off. Hello, drop troops off. Keep doing that. Take them over. And then feed their cores straight to you, and, you know, take Earl off in the New World. I think that would be a good idea, in fact. A very good idea. Let's try and get Spain out for 100% in that case. Oh! 170. And a Californian treasure fleet brought 100 in. Ooh! Very nice. That's a lot of ducats. Oh, this is going to be a, you know, a fair amount of inflation to get rid of. Bye-bye, hard-fought admin points. I mean, I'm focused on admin points, right? But I'm not even noticing that focus. Cordoba. Right, I'm going to actually start taking out some of these provinces across the sea. Travel, my pretties. Travel! Travel across the sea. Under the sea. <gasps> oh my god, I might lose this one. Yep. They're not destroyed. But they are going home. Ah, whatever. That's my uh, other dudes to sort out. But it looks like that Spanish arm was moving last time I checked. No, they're not. Okay. Well, back to sorrow with you. I'm not gonna, you know, stick myself out on a limb. Ottomans announced me as their new rival. Uh, are they actually touching me? Uh, no, they're still close, but no. But they're certainly feeling my influence. The Ottomans are probably the only person I actually fear in this game. They are actually uh, a legitimate menace. They're a threat. I managed to convert a province. Very nice. Macau, you're coming next. Let's just check the rebels. Yeah, fine. Self-sustaining! Yay! Where next? Guess we'll just make sure we get the entire uh, seaboard. Well, the Spanish West Indies do worry me somewhat. I think maybe if we go around or something. Can we even go around? No, we can't. Oh, well, we'll try and sneak our way past. If we die, we die. Oh, no, I can't do that. That'd be too risky. And I've won another siege. Let's just put that aside for now. What am I going to go for? Um, here. Oh, very nice. Right, that means that four is now free. Go away. There we go. Head up to Mallorca. I like the one there, desperately trying to unsiege. Burgos. And I will switch this Sorrow unit out for Burgos, because that way uh, there'll be a gap in between these two. In which this guy is more than happy to stand until I want to kill him, because he can't do anything. New settlement! Ooh, um, I'll defend, blah, 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 set the rejected our capital and begin setting up. Okay, so we can, we can abandon it and gain 10 prestige, or we can get one base tax. I'm going to go for the base tax, because 10 prestige compared to one base tax, long term compared to a very, you know, trivial short term thing. I mean, you know, there's no real 
decision there that he's making. How are we doing over here? Pretty good. I can keep this up for a long time. I'm not even suffering money problems. I haven't hired like a billion mercenaries on like some. We won the Siege of Toledo. Well, opposed landing on Sardinia it is. And then we'll move these guys forward to Aragon. <laughs> it's kind of funny we're making manpower back. Uh, the Siege of Valencia. Move to Barcelona. Uh, that's actually too much provocation for them. They will come for that. Okay, they are coming for us, it looks like. Yeah, they're coming for Aragon. Right, so, go to. Self-sustaining province, very nice. But uh, other than that, um, not a lot for me to go on. Back over here. So this battle is going to be a very important battle. It will pretty much uh, determine whether we are going to crush or whether we need to put more effort in. And hopefully Brittany will join me. Yep. Oh, they're getting crushed already. They must have crazy war exhaustion. 0.8 morale less. Tactics less. Discipline less. We've got a better leader. They've got no leader. They're taking a river crossing. Even though they're at number us, they're going to get crushed. Thoroughly crushed. Look, look at that go. And where are they going to run to? Probably up to Provence. In which case, we're just going to start car sieging them like crazy. I like the fact we're still trying to siege uh, Porto down. Porto, you are crazy. What the hell have you got there? A 10 base next province. Okay, that would uh, explain it. I think it's also an important estuary or something. Alright, we're taking Sardinia. Ottomans are trade disputing us. Pence unhappy, we can gain time prestige, lose stability, or we can lose a load of ducats. Oh, I don't lose stability. I'm going to lose that much ducats. I'm actually going to lose that much ducats. Diplo is full again. Ah, oh, I can buy my Diplo tech. Actually, that's a, that's a good start. Right. This guy has to die. Good news. Fur. Cool. Let's start carpet sieging some more. Hopefully Brittany will take out those stragglers. That's my hope. Oh, no. Meh. Um, so, a few more sieges and we should be good. Oh, they went to there. Okay. Very well. We'll chase you to Avignon. And we will move out of there so that they have to attack us in either hills or mountains. Looks like they're going for hills. You can hold out for a while, yeah? Sure. The enemy are... Oh my god, look at that. Look how much... Oh, look at how much damage... Like, with no leader versus a leader. And we're at numbered... 6 to 1? Yeah, 6 to 1. Just when this 24 shows up. Melt them. Melt them. Melt them! Although, maybe not as good as I'd expect compared to that 4. That 4 were doing a marvellous job. Oh... How lovely. Pause. Pause. Money's cool. And they are running... Not Provence. Presumably to Barcelona. Okay. So that'll be it for today's episode. We're going to end the war in the next episode. It's pretty obvious we're going to do that. We're going to try and get as much as we can out of Spain. I'm um, going to hopefully get 100% war score in Spain as well. I um, just need to get Provence locked down and then a few provinces in the mainland as well. Once we've done that, get them out, then finish off Portugal, 
then call it a day. I think that would be an excellent plan. But until then, I've been Enter Elysium. If you've liked this video, please remember to like it, especially this war, because oh my god, I love this war. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Portugal are going down, Spain are going with them. Stay shiny.